How have you mentally dealt with the setbacks? How do you overcome setbacks? Um, I've always had a great support system. I've always had people that, to who I can talk to and let know. I always had a great support system and people that I know could help me and guide me in a certain way. I've, and at the same time, I feel like I've always done things for, I feel like I've always done things somehow for a, for the, it's for a bigger picture. So it's not, it's, it's not all about, it's not about me. When, I feel like when you do, it's not about, I'm not doing things for the money and I'm not doing things for myself even. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it one for my family, for the people I care, but, I, but I've, I've realized that I got to the position where my, myself can communicate this message or this image of, of people, of what people that look like me, of what the, the experience of what people that look like me is. I have the ability to portray that in so many ways. And I feel, I always felt like it was, it was, it was, there was always something bigger. I'm doing something bigger. So it just helped me mentally go through it. And I feel like I've, I've also studied special care. So like, st work, it, it, there's a lot of psychology, there's a lot of like patience as well. And modeling is a lot of waiting, to be honest. It's a lot of, you deal with a lot of rejection and things like that. And it kind of builds, kind of builds your character because you're used to people that are telling you no at, at a certain point. So having something and losing it or like expecting things that don't happen don't have the same impact anymore, you know? So it helps you. It, it really builds your character in some way. What does the donors do? What does Adonis do? Um, what does Adonis do? I'm an artist at the end of the day. That's, that's who I am. I like to create. I like to create from, from as, from as long as I can remember, I've been creating. I can, rem I can remember, I can remember drawing from as long as I can remember. I can remember, Imagine clothes for as long as I, I can remember. I can remember singing melodies and writing poems. And when I was younger, like I used to, I used to love writing, like writing like in French and writing in English. Just uh, just writing. With I, I used to love writing. I want I, at at a moment in my life, I wanted to be a writer as a kid. Even I just loved telling stories and sharing stories and 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 singing and. I just loved just creating. I, f I feel like maybe it's all this time that I had on, on myself, on my own, that helped me like focus on, the, on art and focus on what I was able to do by myself. But, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm an artist at heart. And where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years? Whew. In the next five years, I see myself in places I haven't been before. And, and doing things that I was once afraid of doing, you know? That's where I see myself in. I, I, yeah. This is a very long story you've gone through so many different things sorry so many experiences no what's the most important lesson you've learned in this journey so far um i've learned to love but to love wisely because i'm a very loving person and and you sometimes forget that there's still evil in this world, regardless of how much love there is and how much we want things to be all right, then we want everybody to be good. There's still, 
there's still there's still evil out there, so you still have to protect yourself. You still have to be careful and be cautious of what you do, who you love, how you put your how you put your energy out there, who you give your energy to. So throughout my journeys from from Europe to Africa to America, I've learned to love wisely. What vision do you have for yourself moving forward with all of this, this success and you know, this, 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 this voice you have now? You know, what do you want to do with all of this information you've, you've gathered and learned over the years? I'm at a point in my life where I'm able to create something that I could communicate, that I could use to communicate a message with other people. I'm at a point where I'm focusing in music and it's leaving something behind me that's a new legacy that, that is really gonna be able to like influence and communicate and, and like tell you what I have learned. Like I've been able to like create music that's gonna be able for me to communicate what I have learned, what I have felt, what what I'm feeling too, and how I how I've learned to feel and deal with things throughout this throughout this journey. Like I have a song that that's in French that I wrote. It was a poem I wrote while I was modeling like years ago, and then like for the first time I went to the studio, I was like. Yeah, I really like this poem. Like, you know, do you think it would sing? It sound good as a as a song, and the guy made it, and, and it was great. And and yeah, it turned out amazing. And I was I still can't believe it because it was the first time I went to the to the studio. So I want so I'm at a, I'm a place where I want to communicate this message. So that's yeah, that's what I'm focusing on: communicating this message of love, so that everybody can hear it, everybody could understand it. I've learned that we're all the same, you know, we all, we all bleed, you know, we all love, we're, we're all the same. So you're going into a new phase of your life, um, congratulations. <laughs> uh, and you're also going into music and pushing it out. What do you hope for all of this new situation to uh, inspire and what's the message behind the, the music and, and your goal for it? Um, in the long run, in like five years from now, for example, I want, I want to do things that I've never done. I want to try, I just want to keep going places that I've never been, discover new things, keep writing songs that are, that are going to touch people, that are going to make people feel, that are going to like make people reminisce. And, and I want to be a part of my, my child's life. Like I'm, I'm about to be a father, and I want to be able to share with, with, with my legacy, everything that I've learned, everything, everything that I felt as well. Like this music and this, this art that I'm leaving for them is, it's a part of me. It's a part of like this is, this is who your father is, you know, and it's. It's, it's a part of like educating them. I feel like we forget, we forget, we forget to, we often, especially in the African community, we forget to know who our parents are. You know, we forget to, we, we respect our parents so much that we forget that like, oh, they have feelings and that they were people and they were young at some point and they, and they probably made a lot of mistakes that we did, you know? So I want to leave my my child and my legacy all this all this love and all this art that I've done my name's Adonis Basso I'm an artist and I am my come up <laughs>